What up, Dangerlings? Uh, it's Drummond here. Um, you may remember me from such shows as the Danger Club podcast and nothing else. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was hoping you might want to get involved with our Patreon um, and and be patriotic towards us. Um, we, 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 uh, you can do that. You can do that. Our Patreon. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, that was definitely. I'm sorry. Are you still recording? You motherfucker. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. I have to use a she wee. Quiet, don't, don't ever say that ever again. It looks like failed experiments. And this book here, The Language of Kings. I don't know what that's about. Maybe they're, I don't know, trying to translate some ancient book of alchemical nonsense. I told you the Arch Lords would send somebody. They cannot fathom their secrets being taken from them. One twist from that clay thing is going to start churning out slimes at us. The goo starts to coalesce until it rises up into an enormous green cube. The adventure continues now. I, I'm feeling I'm feeling excited. We have some we had two fights. When was the last time we had two fights in two games? Like not like Ooh, a fight that carried a over. A while but. ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a while ago that. It was. Um, in, in, in fighty, fisty February sometime. Um, <laughs> Good old almost fisty a year February. ago, yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> fisty fisty February. February. Yeah, fisty February. Fisty Friday. <laughs> in fact, I've got, uh, <laughs> I've, got, I've got some pin badges on. I don't know if you've noticed. Um, I've got one here that is, in fact, it's, it's, it's a fist um, uh, with, with some nail varnish on, and it says, fight like a girl. Yes, um, like it. It's a good one. I've got another one here um, that says, science, uh, it's like magic, but real. Um, Love it. I'm glad like you stipulated uh, um, which kind of fist. It was, in fact, a fighty fist, uh, yes. not the other mm. kind of fist for February. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. you stipulated that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if people want to do other kinds of fisting for February, feel free. Um, Don't Google no, it. <laughs> No um, <laughs> and uh, this one here i've got it's like in the shape of a heart it says big butt bigger heart that's, that's i me. mean we're, st- we're still in january february doesn't come till next week but you know this is true so uh if somebody's so if you're uh, looking somebody's... for some fists then next week is the one that you're going to find it because that is 50 february <laughs> but this is slimy january hello everyone and welcome to the danger club podcast Hooray! Hello! Hey, someone's birthday today is it what yeah, yeah. Who's yeah. birthday? Well, yeah. Uh, some loser. Happy birthday <laughs> to Drum. What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I had a one in six chance. One in six. <laughs> Hang on, that means it's I wouldn't Colin. have my own birthday. It's Colin. <laughs> it's you, Colin he's still one, in, still one in six because Ross has got two characters. Uh, <laughs> every episode. It is my yes. birthday today. Yeah, well, it's not my, because we're recording this as everybody knows. Yeah. Right, these in advance. But it is my birthday when this comes out today. So it happy is. birthday, Colin, if you're listening. Happy birthday, Colin. Oh, you up you Colin. Colin. Are, you, are you listening, Colin, now? <laughs> will I'm you be happy. listening in the future on your birthday? Oh, my God. I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this is the episode that I download on a Monday and listen to it as I go for a cycle. I don't know. Oh, who knows? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I you hope are you're so- not listening to our podcast on, a, on your birthday. I hope you're taking a day off. <laughs> if if you know, are listening... Not- if it's you're nice listening on a cycle, you. then keep going, Colin. You can do it. You're doing really well. You've racked up some good cardio so far. It's a few KM underneath your belt. You're doing good. You're getting a lot of oxygen. Well done, mate. Keep it up. Yes. And Look and out for that, not, and, and if you're not future Colin, then get off that sofa, Colin. You're not doing well. I can't. What are you sitting there for? So put those, put those falafels down. What are you thinking of? Yeah, what you want is a bit of cardio with Carragor. Come on, get off that chair, you. Come on, let's go. No, no. Right, hold on. But- why would you do that? It's his birthday. Sit down, have some cake, chill out, maybe crack a beer open. You know, this is a fun thing to do. Do what you feel, mate. It's all right. Like, whatever. <laughs> as you talking as your character to yourself in the to future. My, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, just, uh, just have a drink. Give up. It's probably not worth it. I don't know. <laughs> That's just, probably how we'll be feeling. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can just you can put. I mean, you're doing the sounds, so you can put just the sounds of a distant birthday party underneath all of this, and just feel like <laughs> your party is going on uh, around the episode. Yeah, Sound, right. sounds of a distant birthday party sounds like the Pink Floyd album that never happened, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 it's also, oh, that's, Pink Floyd. It's also peak, that's peak Phantom X. That is from from the X Men who creates his own friends creates his own life for him oh, I love Phantom yeah. X he's my favourite character they, um, uh, it's Burns night as well isn't it so go out there get some haggis yeah you know? tell you what we know someone who can do a good Robbie Burns don't yeah, we I mean, but well, he's we not do, on the podcast yeah. unfortunately so <laughs> don't go out there and get some haggis I mean stay where you are and get some haggis oh, yeah. probably, probably still the are. thing we probably still need to do that I reckon Oh, yeah, Talking about thing. cultural appropriation. Um, I, <laughs> 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 I just, I have, I, have a, I have a quick question. So the reason I was talking about the pins to begin with um, was because I've also got this one that says head girl, which I quite like wearing. But can I, is that culturally appropriating from women? Like, am I being, am I being a bad feminist if I'm wearing a badge that says that I'm the head girl? I don't not. know, but I, I think the best piece people to ask are a panel of five white guys. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess my question is going more out to Dangerlings then. You know I mean? Help me out, guys. Um, Please do tweet us, Dangerlings. Please yeah. don't make us answer this question on don't our Don't make end. us mansplain. We won't do it. We won't do it. Not, Especially because my T-shirt says we should all be feminists. That's what it says. Even though we, our privilege tells us we should. We agree with the sentiment yeah. of your T-shirt drum and we look to move swiftly yeah. on. Yeah. I really, uh, <laughs> I rolled a natural 20 on my detect traps and uh, it's just <laughs> Drum, I've got a pin badge that says still alive. If you're still alive next week after the Dangerlings have tweeted us, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a prize worth waiting for. Thank you, Colin. Yes. Yeah, all right. Will the Danger Club be still alive after they have fought this cube oh, of oh, danger? Oh, it's, it's, it's a jellied airtight wow. segue this time. <laughs> it's, it's slippery, it's smooth. It's- it's difficult, isn't it? Because uh, I don't know what it's like for overseas listeners, but uh, when I was a kid, jelly came in the little sort of, you know, your little square pack with the oh, little yeah. cubes, didn't it? You used to like, just eat the cubes now, when you were a kid. Jelly, so jelly in America would be jam. That's yeah, true. They in do. America, jello. They do. Jelly is just jello. We just had the segue. We just had the segue. I know, but I was just going to say, well, all right. Respect the segue. No, you carry on, James. You do it. No, no, that's right. No, I don't no. respect those things. You know what I mean? They, they make you look foolish. Like you're just going around on two wheels holding onto things. Like, it's, that is not a proper. No, fuck the segue. Fuck the segue hard. That's what I say. I love segways, man. I did, a, I did a road trip around the USA where I rode segways around cities. It was amazing. They're gone yeah. now, though. It's, it's electric scooters yeah. now. Hoverboards are gone. Segways are gone. It's electric yeah. scooters like Mad Max just barreling around <laughs> on pavements, taking people out right now. Well, yeah, yeah right. Segways never took off. And I believe the guy who invented them uh, killed himself on one, didn't he? Fell off a it's cliff. It's very sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fell off a cliff riding a Segway. What? Yeah. It was just pretty much the death nail in the Segway's coffin, yeah. Oh, my God. Very sad. But that technology has been used on various other, you know, um, vehicles and things. So... <laughs> yeah, but it's very sad. So if people stole his stuff after he died. It's what a wonderful memory. Um, I've never fought a gelatinous cl- cube before, just on a different ooh, ooh, ooh. note. I'm not sure any of you guys have in one of my campaigns. I, I maybe He's, I've put them in once. I, it's one of these things he, you get into running these games because you want to have. They're one of the monsters that you want to use because they're so iconic. Um, but um, well, um, the, the, we, we've had a we've had a manager. Was it a manager? We had Was a, manager, a gelatinous yeah. cube. We did yeah. Um, in our, back in, in the D and D episodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I guess we a did. lot of people's main reference for it will be onward. That's the most mainstream reference to a gelatinous cube now, isn't it? You've all seen onward, right? I have no, no idea no. what you're talking about. Just Holy like, crap, dude! What are you doing? It's, it's on like, my list. It's, it's got right. Chris Pratt okay. and Tom Holland, I know. And to, for that, that reason alone, it's on my list. But it's also basically Disney D&D, which is another yes. reason why it's on my list. Um, yeah. It's been recommended to me about a few times now. I didn't know there's a gelatinous cube in it, though. Oh, sorry, um, I've ruined it. I've no, 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 that's it, not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. There's something fantasy turns okay, up in a right. fantasy film. That's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all right. I did put a gelatinous cube in one of my own campaigns and my players just was like, we'll, we'll just wait it out and let it go past us because um, it's slow and it doesn't have a mind. And I was like, ah, oh, damn. And then I was like, yeah, there's a bit of gold in the back of it from a previous adventure. And the one the one loot hunter in the entire bite was like, there's what? Okay, there's, okay, can I get it? I'm like, yeah, if you want to put your hand inside a gelatinous cube that's moving away from you. He was like, 
yeah, I'm going to do that shit. And I was like, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Easy hook. Put cash in it. Cash in the monster. Great. They're fighting it now. Excellent. Kind of the kind of the opposite of last episode, where you guys were so suspicious of the dagger being offered to you. Everyone's just like, "What? Why? Why are we doing this? Why? Why do we want treasure? For goodness' sake!" We yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was uh, there was there was some real suspicion going on. Literally poisoned dagger. It wasn't like it was free rubies. It was a poisoned <laughs> dagger rigged up to a contraption that none of us could really work out, and then Beelzebub didn't want to. <laughs> so you know, but you know, we've got it now. Well done, Shania. Yeah. Shania. Just as a side note, if you haven't if you haven't listened to our um, D and D episodes, the Pork and Bean Saga, go back and listen. It's a real fun six part episode. Uh, I really enjoyed recording that. Just I was forget we did that's like a year ago. I, I yeah, yeah, completely yeah. forgot when we did those. They were a lot of fun. Yeah. Maybe Pork and Beans will come back one day. You know, maybe there'll be beans with some pork. music. Ooh, oh, that was fight Freddy foreshadowing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little Easter egg there. Well, it's not an Easter egg. It's just a little taster of what might come, Dangerlings. Easter eggs in a couple uh, of months, Cole. We're, we're a little bit ahead of that. <laughs> oh, we're still on my birthday. We, we're still going to get through 50 Sorry. February before we get to the Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how do we? Uh, so we we've burst into uh, burst into the sewers. Zainab and uh, Bajan have heard you coming and have mistaken you for the Archlords of Nex, and they, for whatever reason, are not down with fighting the Archlords of Nex. You've managed to terrify the pair of them quite a bit and throw some wind across the room, um, take a couple of shots at their little clay buddy, but not before the machine in it could spew out a huge cube of gelatinous goo, uh, which has started menacing its way towards all of you. Um, I can tell you... This is going to be fun. It probably won't. Every time there's a monster I really like, like it just gets killed in the first round. I'm sure it'll. This will be nothing. Uh, this will be no different. Uh, but shall we find out? Shall we jump back in and see how we go against this this oozy menace? Yes. Let's do this. All right. So we're coming straight back into combat, and I can tell you it is the ooze's go. That's where we put out the ooze, having slurped out of the machine. It is going to uh, it is going to use all three move actions because it's really slow, uh, and it just slowly slurps its way all across the room through the slime, uh, churning it around it. Um, all the way across the room until it gets it gets close to where Karagor is, but not quite there. Uh, it gets in line with the rest of the party coming down the um, coming down the tunnel into the room. Uh, but this round, that's all it can do. It just slurps menacingly towards them, just scooping up everything in its path, uh, rippling and shuddering. You do notice it's a kind of a luminescent green colour. It is not translucent as uh, ge- as gelatinous cubes often are. Um, but that is all it can do for its go, which means we're going to go to Zainap. Uh, Zainap is going to get a go. Zainap is in the wind. Um, can I tell you, she got a thirty. She got a thirty-four on her save against it. What was your spell save DC, um, James? Because I just want to check that she crit succeeded rather than actually succeed, rather than just uh, the spell DC is 20, 20. A twenty. So, so I don't believe it. So that is a crit good. succeed, critical success. Was it? What did she get? She got thirty-four. So ten over, oh, critical oh, success. Yeah. Uh, that means she is unaffected. Rather, if she's, if it's just a success, then she can't move against it. Um, so she is going to, in that case, she's going to use her movement to come running straight up across. She just jumps into the slime and comes running towards all of you, drawing from her belt, um, drawing from her belt a flask of her own, and she flings it at Fulton Battlestone. Uh, that is going to be uh, Fulton. You've got pretty. Your AC is pretty crazy, right? 23. 23, okay. I think I can... I feel confident. I feel like I can get you. Uh, That is going to be... That's a 12. (laughs) It sails through (laughs) the air. It hits the wall, and it just slurps against the wall and uh, and fails to do anything. She's got one action left. Um, God, you know what? She's gonna go for. She's gonna go for another one. She pulls her other acid flask. I'm gonna go for bad moon on this one. Um, and th- is it 
Just a question, Dan. Is she trying to throw these through the, the line of wind? Uh, no, she ran through, straight through the line of wind because she crit succeeded against it, so she's unaffected by oh, it. So I see. she yeah, just yeah, runs yeah. through the line uh, to get clear of it and then starts throwing them at, uh, at Fulton. Uh, but the second one yeah. is only an 18, so that is a miss as well. Uh, 19, but still a miss. So she flings both vials um, at Fulton, um, but they just kind of they clatter off the wall to the side of it. Don't manage to get a hit. Damn it. Um it's not going on. to be fair she's frightened she's frightened three at the moment so she's uh she's not doing great but we'll go ahead and reduce her frightened condition by one because uh, it's the end of her turn okay that means it's shania rain and philippe the devil monkey's turn what are we doing just do a, just do a quick ask are we um are we effectively fighting round the rim of a bowl um yeah kind of but the bowl itself like the 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 slime in the bottom of it is very shallow and it's only like a, a it's only like a foot or so a couple of foot drop into it so there's no penalty for crossing in and out of the slime oh okay um uh right okay so um uh sh- it, like there, there's walls and stuff right there's there ceiling, are walls yeah? and stuff yeah okay great all right shania is going to use spider climb and uh climb up the wall hopefully onto the ceiling if possible you can do um, that yeah you've got enough movement so you cast spider how many actions is spider climb to cast two two so you cast spider climb fuck your horrible like mm-hmm. hairy palms sprout from it and you put them on the ceiling and you just crawl up the wall and onto the ceiling you are now okay on the ceiling. <laughs> um and uh philippe um philippe cannot act because you need an action to activate philippe uh, so philippe doesn't do anything in this round um, I can't even get him to move. Surely he can move or something. Can't uh, he? Philippe or? needs a, so you need to spend an action in order for your companion to act. Um, otherwise, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they'll defend themselves right. uh, if they're attacked. Um, but otherwise, they don't do anything. Uh, you've got to spend your <sighs> you've got to spend your actions to get actions out of Philippe. Uh, right. Okay. okay. Right. Later on, we can upgrade him. Um, you can once he starts becoming a. Because like, uh, I've, I've got, a, I've got a thing. On, I've got a thing on here okay. that says when Shania hits, so does Philippe. Add one d eight. Um, that's su- his support. That's his support benefit. Um, so you can choose to have Philippe support you in combat. In which case, if you're both in melee, when you hit, Philippe will hit. Um, but that doesn't let him move independently. We have got... There are some druid abilities at higher levels. We'll have a look uh, when you get through. You can upgrade him to the point where he can act independently. Uh, so he can act... He'll get right. he can get one action even if you don't activate him, which is nice. Uh, but I don't believe okay. you have that at the moment. Um, so that's yours. So you're up on the ceiling. Um, Philippe bears his teeth. That's your round. In that case, it is Beelzebub, Big Spear the Third. Okay, Beelzebub is going to... Um, how close together are? How far away are the two twins? Are they fifty feet? Yeah, uh, they've moved up now. So from where you are, one of them is thirty feet, uh, the other is thirty-five feet. Uh, but they are standing so they're together. No, they're about thirty feet apart because they they oh. split because they'll put the wind down. One of them ran one way around the wind, one ran ran the other way. Is are any of them? in like next to the big gelatinous cube thing uh the cube is 10 feet from Baijan and 20 feet from Zainab okay. or 15 feet from Zainab uh, Zainab is 10 I'm, feet from from the little uh, clay creature I'm just gonna go for not Zainab the other one uh what's the other twin called uh the other one is Baijan that's it. I'm going to go for Baijan. I'm going to pull out a bottle of lightning moderate. Um, and I'm going to throw it okay. at him. Are there any penalties for making ranged attacks through the wind, um, Velda? Um, I don't... It doesn't say there is, Okay, to be honest. Fine. In that case, uh, there is so no, no penalty for you, Beelzebub. Uh, go ahead and make your attack. Cool. Um, Although, well, yeah. Nope. That's a natural one. Oh, it's a fun <laughs> one. Oh, no. Oh, Beelzebub. I'm ready this time. I have my cards to hand. Good. Good. I'm glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> I haven't okay. had a fumble in a while, so, you know, stands to reason. It's probably just going to fly oh, up and then hit us all, isn't it? Uh, no, wait, it's Beelzebub. <laughs> no, it's this Beelzebub. is Beelzebub. Oh, forgive me for my confusion. Forgive me for my confusion. It's <laughs> <is> too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those it's still the same roller. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, <laughs> range. Okay. 
close to the ear. You are deafened until your next turn. Vilsburg <laughs> lifts the bomb and it just goes off in his hand and just deafens him. So your Hooray! ears are just ringing. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Oh. I'm just um, trying to hear. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's that's one was action. That the end of my go, or is that one? That's go? one action. You got you got two more two more actions. <sighs> I'm going to drink the Stone Fisty McFister elixir um, and get some fists yeah. of fury. Fisty of February, yay! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go into Fisty February early this year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I drink that, and then as... Uh, oh, I can't really do anything else. I can walk, move up to Melee. I'm going to stay here, because I'm sure... The weird gelatinous cube of death is going to slowly walk its way towards us. So I'm just going to stay here and hold my okay. action. Uh, well, yeah, I'll just stay here. All right. my... you, you, you stay where you are and you hold. Um, uh, actually, yep. can I set. I'm going to use my last action to send Jam Jam over towards where the clay creature is. Ooh. Yes, you can do that. Jam Jam, it's time for you to. Get out all of your anger over these years. Yes. Kill that clay thing. Oh, my God. You send Jam Jam into combat. I hope you have Jam Jam stats to hand because yeah. goodness knows. Excellent. Um, I've already damaged it as well. I was going to try and finish it off on my round, but I'm I, I'm more than I'm more than happy to have a horrible familiar fight to happen and I'll focus <laughs> on something else instead. Yeah. Do you know what... Um, do you know Jam Jam's movement? <laughs> Uh, yes, I do. It, he has a speed of 25 feet. Uh, I don't want him to go into the ooze and like drown. I just want him to... I'll go all the way around. I'll go I mean, the, as much as I can the, on... Okay, the creature is in the ooze, but... Um, oh, okay. So If I jump in, will Jam Jam just die? No, Jam Jam's <laughs> like... I don't think he needs to breathe. Um, it, like His okay. head will be just above water. It, it is difficult terrain for him, so he moves at half speed. Okay, he'll just get there eventually. Like, okay, uh, but I don't want to go near the massive gelatinous cube. Okay, that's fine. So I don't want you to just literally no. go. Oh yeah, and the gelatinous cube just goes to the jam jam. And so jam jam can make another jam, one. jam jumps into the slime, and so only his little face is peering up out of it, <laughs> uh, and then just starts <laughs> waddling through it towards the uh, the clay guy. He gets about halfway to him, just slumping through it, like, doing a really really awful like doggy paddle like with his little front <laughs> oh. front feet I'm like. Oh. It's like I will make you proud, father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, horrible. Cool. That's my go. That is my go. Round two, Bubba von Hoops. All right, uh, let's change what I was going to do, but that's okay. I am going to uh, going to fight with this. With this, work I don't know. Other people can tell me this out mm-hmm. of character. If I fired magic missiles at this this cube, is it got the same effect as it would have with the slime? Uh, last week, I, c- I would imagine probably so. I reckon that I mean, Caragor is basically on the verge of being like, I reckon magical and freezing against that cube. I don't think ordinary weapons going to work against it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was going to, I was going to, well. I was going to do this crazy spell where I spat loads of locusts over it. Um, <sighs> but uh, it, it's like a thirty-foot cone, so Jam Jam and maybe Beelzebub would be caught in it. So um, I can't do that. <laughs> I, I think. Beals, I think Jam Jam would just about be alright. I'd have yeah. to measure it. Caragor might. No, I think you can you can just about get the cube without hitting anybody. Can I? Yeah, if you want oh, to sick. spew locusts at the cube. Okay, in that case, I'm going to use the spell called Vomit Swarm. Amazing. Um, yeah. I belch <laughs> forth a swarm of magical vermin. Uh, you evoke the shape and creatures from your own imagination. Um, so I'd like them to look like um, uh, loads of Jiminy crickets <laughs> with, with like little hats on. Let your conscience be your guide. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, my god! Yeah, that's what they're going to look like, and they're just going to be like with with fangs, and they're just going to be like ah, ah, and then attack the cube. Um, is the cube cu- it's green, right? Yeah. How do we know it's not made of acid? I don't know. I guess we'll uh, well, it might be made of acid. He's done it now, but oh, we're gonna well. we're gonna find out. Yeah, aren't we? I reckon we'll see. Okay, you've now turned into the mummy. Down. So uh, the saving throw is a basic reflex. So it makes a basic reflex. Um, if correct. it fails this, it what it takes it takes damage. Then it takes damage. Yeah, it will take. Um, 
two d eight piercing damage. Okay, I can tell you that a uh, I can tell you the save of a gelatinous cube is uh, the reflex save of a gelatinous cube is not high. Okay, uh, in fact, it's plus zero. So we're just rolling bad moon on its own. Go on in. That's an eight. All right, I got a twenty on that. So boom, hey. that is a critical failure. So roll the damage and double it. All right, oh, shit. Nice. As you should just vomit low vomit Jiminy crickets. <laughs> no, it's only five, so it got ten points of damage. Uh, I didn't roll massively high on that. Okay, damage. it takes t- takes ten points of damage as it's just covered in <laughs> in Jiminy crickets. In Jiminy crickets, <laughs> and presumably, do they stay there then? Oh, um, they stay there. Yeah, it's uh, it lasts for. Um, Oh no, it's only one round actually. So uh, a creature that fails its saving throw also becomes sickened one. Oh, okay, cool. Um, yeah. Nice. Let the me cube just <coughs> starts throwing up. <laughs> yeah. No, well, yeah. It's not immune to sickened, so that's sickened. fine. <laughs> sickened cube. <laughs> oh my yes. god. So it takes a. It's got a minus one to checks and DCs and can't willingly ingest anything. Amazing. Um, and I'll use my uh, my last action because that was only two actions uh, to um, you know the old the old thing. What's it called? I I do use this all the time. Bandolation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> inspire courage. Inspire well, how courage. did I forget that? It's right in front of me. Uh, yes, yeah, so I inspire courage. Oh, get that cube. Get that cube. Get that cube. Get that cube, boys. Get that cube and girls. Get the cube. <laughs> There we go. Like a Mary Poppins song. <laughs> yeah. I'm going very oh Disney today. Goodness. Yeah. Okay, so it is um So the creature is the creature is sickened and covered. You just vomit crickets all over it that just start biting at it as they too begin being absorbed by the acid uh within Amazing. it. Amazing. Um oh, and then you start singing a song. Probably <laughs> the creepiest thing Bubba has ever done. <laughs> yeah. Um all right, it's Velda Can Lights Go. Okay, can I try... What would it be to try and ascertain what the weaknesses and uh, things like that for the cube would be? So, uh, what for, an, would that be? Uh, for an ooze, uh, that is going to be an occultism check. Occultism check, okay. I shall roll for occultism. Uh, there we go. Do, 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 do. That is uh, not great. Uh, that's a 15. A 15 is a fail. You don't know anything about this cube. Cool. That's one action. Okay. Um, that's annoying. It is. Because I've got varying different uh, uh, spell effects, so I don't want to waste one of these things on that. What, what, um, damage, what do they do? Like, what kind of damages does it do? Is it all different ones? What What do you mean? What like spells? Like, as in, you said, yeah, because you said you've yeah. got a variety of different spells. What yeah. kind of, like, are they all different damage types? Or? Yeah. Yeah, so one could be completely useless against that thing, and I'd waste a really powerful spell. Yeah. Uh, Snackweed, so I bet two. some kind of freezer work well against it. If it doesn't, then I'll give you five gold. Yes. That's not my big damage, though, is it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so instead, uh, I would like to... I will cast Mage Armor on myself, and I'll give it a go another another round. And, um, well... Where am I in relation to this blob? I'm a bit confused by this room, to be honest, because it, it seems a bit odd where people are. So it's a square room. Yeah. It's, it's a sort of rectangular a, room, yeah. So looking around where you are at the moment, directly in front of you, you've got Caragal, um, who's standing in between you. Uh, beyond Caragal, you've got Baijan, who is was throwing bombs at you. Caragal's now stepped in the way. Uh, and then back over to, sort of, to your left, you've got uh, Philippe, Beelzebub and Bubba all clumped up together in the tunnel where you were coming in. Uh, you've got Fulton just to the side of them. Shania's on the ceiling above them. Uh, directly in front of all of them is the gelatinous cube trundling towards them. Uh, and then a little further off in the room away from that, you've got Zainab standing up to her knees in goo with <laughs> Jam Jam doggy paddling towards her and just on the other side just beyond her, the little clay guy um, who's right at the back. Right. Okay, uh, in that case, yeah, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay, you uh, focus in your magic on yourself and you clank magical glowing armor all over Velda. What does it look like when Velda surrounds himself in Mage Armor? Um, it kind of looks like uh, the original Dune film from the early 80s where it's sort of like square. It's not very well formed. It's like a 
tink, tink, like that glowing blue. Very nice, glowing blue, purple and blue. Thrashing, um, unfortunately. No, um, no, no. <laughs> Wrong types of shade. Uh, so <laughs> they go very well together. <laughs> if you like, argue with the seamstress on this. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Fulton Battlestone. What we got? Uh, smashy, smashy. Gelatinous QB. Amazing. Uh, with my Warhammer. Let's go. Are you let, uh, crucially, so you need to move to get into melee with it. Where do you want to stand? Yeah, that's um, fine. Do you want to stand um, in between yourself and your friends, or do you want to stand to the side? Uh, if I stand in front of my friends, will they not be able to attack it in their goes? Uh, no, they could attack it in their goes. Um, uh, then I'll one or yeah, I'll just stand in between so that it doesn't. Um, I got a twenty-five. All right, you step in between everyone and the gelatinous cube. You swing your axe. You hit it with a twenty-five. Oh, That's not a twenty. It's my axe. It's my your warhammer. warhammer. Sorry, you swing your That's warhammer. Right. Twenty-five is a critical hit, and then some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, and then I roll another dice tonight, or for the crit. For the crit, you roll your damage and you double it. Okay, but not the pl- modifier, right? No, you double it's everything. The- roll roll oh, your damage, geez. add the bonus, double it all. Okay, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven on the first one. Uh, Oh, 11. Uh, so, so, yeah, so it's 20 if it's doubled. Uh, it's 20, 11, 22. 22 <laughs> points of damage. Of blue janine damage. I run over and smash the gelatinous cube of death. Oof, that is very, very good. Okay, so you run up, you just slam the warhammer into it. Um, and it just shudders and ripples as you uh, as you smack it. Um, and bits of goo kind of fall off the side of it. Um, what would you like to do with your last action? Um, I'm going to hit it again. All right. And it's a minus five. Minus five on this. Coolio. Uh, that is a 23 minus five. So that is uh, 18. And 18 is a hit, not a critical hit. Yay! That is a 10 points of bludgeoning damagio. Another 10 points of damage. You smash into it again and more goo drips off the side of it. Uh, But it is still going. It is Baijan's go. Baijan has still got some flasks left. Um, He's just screaming. You cannot stop us. You will not stop our research, Archlords. And he throws... His, um, he's going to throw his acid flask at Caragor. Oh, I thought you were going to say he's gonna, he was uh, throwing his arm. Uh, that's <laughs> a th- throwing his arm. <laughs> that's a 30 yep. uh, against Caragor. Uh, is that a crit or just a regular? That's not a crit. Not a crit, right? No. That's fine. So just regular old acid damage. Four, five, six, seven points of acid damage. There's no one around you for a splash. Um, now, what's he going to do with his other stuff? He is going to... Oh, we could target Jam Jam. No, that's cruel. Um, he... Is that because you play him, Dan? And you don't <laughs> want to... <laughs> <laughs> I we found his weakness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jam Jam's tanking from now on. <laughs> My ability to do voices. Um, yeah. Right, okay. Uh, he is going to... He's going to take a step forward and he's going to try and throw a bomb at Bubba. He can just about see Bubba from there. So he, he pulls out... He's out of acid fast now. Uh, so he, now he's going to throw a bottle lightning at Bubba. Um... He has got just a plus 10 on this. That's a 25 against Bubba. Oh, it's going to hit. It hits Bubba. Bubba, you take... It is a thunder of lightning. A thunder of lightning? A crack of lightning. Very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. Uh, You take (laughs) six points of lightning damage. Uh, Philippe and um, Beelzebub. Uh, both take five points of lightning damage from the splash on it. Shania does not. Shania is on the ceiling. Uh, she's all right. Um, and that is what all he can do with his go. Shania's on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, was, that was our like, first dance at our wedding, that. Dancing on the ceiling. Was it? Yeah. Oh, 
I remember oh, that right. on the dance the dance floor that was ever so slightly sloped and got wetter yeah. as the day as the thing went yeah. on. <laughs> um, and and I was wearing a, I was wearing a um, a mask of uh, the guy that sings it. What's his name? Um, you were. Lionel Richie. Yeah. Lionel Richie. Yeah. <laughs> so dangerous. Right. So romantic. So wonderful. <laughs> it's it's Caragor's go. Um, mm. So. Baijan is now 10 feet from you. He's standing in front, and the gelatinous cube is 10 feet from it, you, but you're not in its path. Indeed. Uh, probably. Bubba, Bubba, what's your uh, inspire competence thing, Baroness, these days? Gives you a plus one. Still a plus one, eh? Um, Just a plus one. Look. Um, I'm going to move up to engage Baijan. And one action, uh, another action to hunt prey on him. Yep, that's fine. You can hunt prey. You can make a society check to know a bit about it. And make, see if you heard any rumours around town about him, if you like. All right, I went through the market. It's a free action, I think, with Monster Hunter, isn't it? A free action? Yeah, yeah no, it is when you do the hunt prey. Um, cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 ten. Ten? No, no good. Oh, no, I no, don't care. You spurt me <laughs> with acid, and now I'm going to hit you in the face as hard as I possibly can. Um... So uh, that'll be my third action to, to, to attack with. Oh, what Amazing. am I going to attack with now? What am I going to do? Is he like he's just pulling out bombs and flasks willy and indeed nilly, right? He's not using an overt yeah. weapon. No, you can see he's got a kukri at his side, but he hasn't drawn it. He's just been throwing flasks. I just I've got a few. I've got a few things where I could disarm, but I'm, I'm not sure it'd be worth it with this guy. I think I'm just going to have to slash him. Um, and I will. Uh, with, with, with the old Plurzvon, the old Plurzvon, the old Plurzvon, Plurzvon. That is a, that is a, oh, oh, um, all the bonuses and stuff. That is a thirty-one to hit him. Critical Jesus. hit. I see you, mate. Okay, critical hit and. The critical specialization with my Plosvern is bleeding. Should let Oof, you know. So he bleeds as well. Okay. You made me bleed my own <laughs> blood. All that for a little drop of blood. If it bleeds, <laughs> it's it. 15 points of damage with the Plosvern. I sort of like step up to him and slice upwards. Uh, with an arc of blood at the tip of the blade, it just dances round in a very Ooh. 80s metal kind of way. Um, and that's four points of bleed damage. Oh, he starts to bleed. He starts to bleed his own blood. You should have uh, backed down, run. mate. We're not the Archlords, but I'm going to be your Archlord in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you run up and just shove a dagger in him, and he just starts bleeding horribly all over himself. Uh um, rest of you maybe freeze that thing or burn it I don't know that would be a that would be a good idea go on jam jam out that little clay bastard go on, believe in you but unfortunately before you can do any of that sorry sorry it's the I cubes didn't add, go I didn't add the, this, it's not 14 it's a 16 I didn't add the hunt prey the damage thank you okay. 16 thank you sorry Carry no on. problem sorry I have a couple more points of damage there by Jean um, he just his day gets worse by two points um all right, time, time to get QB. The cube is going to use. Let me just check the range on it. Yep, the cube uses engulf, um, where it makes two move actions to move thirty feet, uh, and just rum rumbles down the middle of the corridor, down the thing. So I need reflex saves um, I need reflex saves from Fulton, Bubba, Philippe and Beelzebub as it just as it just rolls, tries to roll through all of Isn't you. Isn't it still sickened and therefore can't ingest things? Hmm yeah, I mean is it really ingesting? It's, uh, I tell you what it's got what, It's got a spare action it, may, it uses its spare action to try and vomit up the swarm of Jiminy Crickets Giving it a uh, another fortitude save, which is a twenty. 
um, against Bubba's uh, against Bubba's spell DC. Uh, my spell DC is twenty. There we go. Meets beats. It vomits out. <laughs> so it just kind of shudders for a moment, and then just all the crick, half digested crickets, just spew out of it from the side. Uh, and then it <laughs> off. and then it rolls forward over all of you. It's worth a shot, lads. Let's I tried. Some I tried. Yeah, it's man. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, it? Um, it's a I... it's a reflex. Fulton got 22. Beelzebub got 18. Okay. That is a success for Fulton. Fulton dives out of the way. Um, it is a fail for Beelzebub. Beelzebub is swallowed up by the by the cube uh, and carried along with it. Um, how about Philippe and uh, Bubba? 22. 20 for Philippe. So <laughs> everyone except Beelzebub leaps oh, no. out of the way of this cube as it goes <laughs> forward Beelzebub is just swept up in the cube um, he takes he takes five points of acid damage straight away um, and Beelzebub mm-hmm. you are uh, suspended in the cube I need you to make a um, uh, I need you to make a fortitude save uh, that is a 29. A 29. Beelzebub, you are not paralyzed by the paralyzing slime. So you can, you are, but you are immobilized effectively. You're suspended in the goo. Um, so you're kind of floating around in it. Um, but you can still act when it comes to your turn. But yeah, you're, you're stuck in a ball of slime. Stuck in a big uh, ball of slime. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, Classic. <laughs> Beelzebub. Like a piece of fruit in a trifle jelly thing. <laughs> yeah, a trifle, yeah. a trifling matter indeed. <laughs> uh, Zainab, um, Zainab is going to throw some bombs uh, at Fulton Battlestone. Uh, that is going to be a, that's a miss. Uh, she tries again with her. Uh, she's run out of acid flasks. She's going to try with the lightning flask. That is also a miss. She throws more bombs. They go nowhere near. Fulton's just pat- batting them away with the hammer. Um, it's just smashing against it. Does... Everything. Did you say lightning? Uh, yes. Doesn't it hit the gelatinous cube that I've just jumped out of the way of? Uh, no, because the cube has now moved well beyond you. The cube ran, mm. trundled past you and is now way up the corridor with uh, with Beelzebub inside it. Um, yeah. She is going to... Ah, she doesn't know who Fulton is, so she's going to make the mistake of her life, uh, and she's going to move up into melee combat with Fulton. <laughs> Just the way I like it. Wow. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's her go. Uh, it's Shania range. Shania and Philippe. Shania, you're on the ceiling. Mhm. Um. What yeah. Thing? So Shania's on the ceiling. Um. Obviously, I-, I want Philippe to do something, so I'm going to use an action to. Okay. To, to um, you know, get Philippe going, um, and I would like Philippe mm-hmm. um, to who's who's it out of the two, um, you know, the two peeps there. Yeah. Uh, who's 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 closest to him? Um, probably Zainab. Z- okay, right. Zainab, that's the lady, right? Zainab? Yeah, that's the lady. You could get okay. to her. You could get, Philippe could get to her in a single move. Okay, so he runs up to Zainab okay. and and tries to uh, grapple her. Hold her. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. Um, okay. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I use for his grapple. Is it just his strength? Or? Uh, you're going to make an unarmed attack. So, yeah, go ahead and make an attack roll against her. Okay. Um, if you beat her. It is 21. 21. She is grabbed. She runs over. It runs over and just Philippe wraps his arms around her legs. And she's just, like, struggling, trying to find, fend him off. Um uh, great. Okay, so she's held by Philippe, yep. um, and uh, Shania um, is going to use a cantrip. She's going to use electric arc um, on the gelatinous chew- cube. Um, okay. Uh, which uh, do I need to? Do I need to do an attack uh, for that? I don't believe you need to. Make no, a, I don't think I do. do I think it makes a reflex save. <clears throat> okay, it? reflex save. Um, all right, yeah. Okay, so it's reflex of said plus zero, um, seventeen. But I don't think that beats your spell DC. No, no. So no, go no. ahead and roll some electricity damage. Okay, so that is three D four plus my level. Uh, okay, so that, <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that is 
um, 16. Okay. Um, and then it can, and then it can hit another person, can't it? It can. So, there is nobody. Cl- um, well, I don't think there's anyone. Surely there. you could hit there people. Isn't... <laughs> well, I, I, I can't get like Bajan on it. Um, Bajan is Bajan is forty feet away from it. Zainab is thirty is twenty five feet. Uh, so if it's, uh, I don't know what the arc range is on your. Uh, on your uh, God, I don't have it written down. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I don't know. I thought I thought it would be able to. Um, uh, I tell you what, if if you want to, uh, I'll I'll look that up and yep. uh, and just if you want to carry on while I just no problem. Up, but, okay, so you. You, you um, put some electricity on it. You do notice that that electricity, some of that seems to be absorbed into the creature. Uh, it seems okay. like it didn't all, none of the, not all of that damage. Not all but, of that. Okay. Um, all right. But, That's um, unfortunate. <laughs> Beelzebub, this Beelzebub's hair standing on him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, it's Beelzebub's go. Beelzebub, you've, you're, you're stuck in jelly. What can I do? So, you can... Um, uh, any kind of so you're effectively grabbed so any interact action that you want to take takes a fu- um, you may need to make a DC5 flat check um, but while you are engulfed you can attack but you can only attack with weapons that are light um, and you might be able to sl- you can either try and cut your way free or you can just keep fighting it you can just keep hitting it have you um, have you got the create ice cream spell prepared? Uh, that's, <laughs> um, so you are, so yeah. how do I escape out of okay. it? That's what I want to do. So engulf. Let's take you to... It's not actually condition corner. It's monster effect corner. Uh, a creature that fails at save inside it is grabbed. Um, it is slowed one, which means at the end of your turn you will only get two actions back rather than one action. Um, and you are holding your breath. Um, so you are you're okay for another... Eight rounds or so, so we won't worry too much about the suffocating. On the um, electric arc thing, um, it's thirty foot, so 30 foot? okay. Probably yep. get Zane up then. You right? can hit Zane up then. So yeah, go okay. ahead and All roll right. a bit of extra damage to Zane up. Um, while we're do- while you're doing that, let's finish on this. Um, yeah, you're taking damage every turn while you're engulfed. Um, you can try and escape by making an unarmed attack uh, against it to try and wriggle free from it, or you can keep attacking it. Um, with a slashing weapon, so long as it is um, only a light slashing weapon, um, um, I'll go for attacking it to get out. So I've, I, I guess my fists, because I've just got my fists. Do you have? Do your out? fish do slashing damage? That's the, uh, um, or piercing? No, I don't have any. Oh, I've got pierce. I got a dagger in my hand. Yeah, uh, I've got a dagger in my pack. So you can attack so, it with the dagger. And then that means that I can eventually get out. Yeah, right? if you do, uh, if you do more than so, it has a rupture value. Ugh, that's gross. Um, basically, if you do more than the listed damage in a single attack, then you will split it open and you will get outside of it. Um, it's also okay. Let's try out, um, against you. Let's try and slash it with my dagger. That is a seventeen. A seventeen is a critical hit. Oh, because it's flat-footed against you. Ah, hello there. Um, oh, Jesus. So you you draw your dagger with one action, you stab it with another. That is uh, four plus eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, 12 points of damage. Points of damage, and you, <laughs> um, there is just sort of a. A horrible noise, slurping noise from it, and the dagger bursts out of the uh, thing and just slits a hole in the side of it. And Beelzebub, you come tumbling out of the creature. Um, <laughs> I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, yes, very um, nice. With that's my first action, right? That's your first action, yeah. Uh, and uh, well, it's your second action because it's one to draw the dagger. You can I know. do something? Oh. How how encased is the uh, is the slit that's open? And if I shoved a grenade in there, what would happen? Uh, would it, it would certainly would do I damage you? Would it damage me? Uh, could, you could try it and find out. Fuck it, why not? Um, Amazing. I am going to shove a. Mm. Use the force, I'm shove, Beelzebub. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shove a Pesh Pine moderate grenade inside the slit. Oh. Um, uh, 
you know, if it does any damage, who knows? Well, we'll <laughs> not, see. not a sentence uh, I thought I'd hear today. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ooh, that's love a fetch pie. If I can get that um, with a nice spicy curry, it sets it off really nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're good in salads as yeah. well, fetch pines. That's so. an 18. 18. I'm going to call that a critical hit. I'm still going to say it's flat footed against you because you're because of how yeah. you're doing it. So you shove the grenade into the thing at, just as it closes up. Um, do you want to draw a crit card against it? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have any to hand, but I can, I can draw yes, you one. Yes, yes, right. yes, you can draw me one, Dan. Um, Please be hideous laughter. You know what? It's uh, it's, you know what? It's one that we've had before, but it's not that one. You and the target switch places. <laughs> oh what because it counts as a magical attack that it's one never grenade. makes sense I'd so say. what we just swap so uh, I mean I'm next to him we just go whoop it's still going to be double damage um, yeah. so you shove the grenade into it it explodes rips a hole in uh, space time and the two of you switch <laughs> places so roll your damage double it and then and then you go switch places what? <laughs> yeah why not I love weird. I love spell crits. They're so weird. Eighteen damage, 18. piercing damage, but it says and two piercing splash damage. Okay, uh, uh, that's is that to me? That would be. However, because of the way up. you've done it, you shove it inside. You shove the thing to it. It just explodes. The shrapnel just explodes within it, and you just see it like just slow. Like the uh, shards of it just get slowed by the jelly before they uh, protrude. Um, the explosion is so violent within it uh, that it hurls the jelly up in the air forward and you're able to duck, roll underneath it and come back up on the other side of it before it lands to the ground. Feels it comes up just dripping with goo. Uh, uh, and the target is stupefied. Oh. Stupefy! Yeah. Uh, um, okay. I mean, I don't know how you can stupefy a gelatinous glob, but, you know. Oh my hey, goodness. That's this, this taking a value to intelligence checks. <laughs> Tell you what, with all these with all these conditions, I'm reevaluating gelatinous cubes. I mean, they can be sickened, they can be <laughs> saddened, yeah, yeah. they can be depressed, they can be happy, they have birthdays. Oh, like it's it's impressive. Stupid cube. Okay, <laughs> the uh, the machine rumbles. Ooh, and just one second, Dan. Um, sixteen points of damage on Zainat, by the 16 way. Sixteen points of damage on Zainat. Nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. Very good. Oh, this machine, one however, is come out, isn't the it? machine is still working. The machine cannot be stopped. Um, it trund- it, it uh, shudders, and another glowing ooze pours out of it. This one is not a. Um, this one is smaller, however. It is not um, like a genetics cube, but it is another green glowing ooze that pours out of the machine onto the ground. Uh, and begins slithering its way towards you. Uh, the little guy, the little... Um, this Jam Jam had a go. Gonna... I can't, because I used all my actions then to... Um, although, is, is here's a question. Yeah. Does he carry on doing stuff um, that I've ordered him to do without the need of giving away an action that I've already had? Like, do you know what I mean? Do you, do you understand? Why yeah, I mean, he is intelligent, so I, I'm guessing um, the minion trait is such a weird one. I, I think now that he's not being commanded by you, he probably does carry on doing um, doing what you want, uh, doing what he was previously instructed to do. So um, go ahead and make an attack with Jam Jam against the little clay okay. guy. So what would it be? Um... <laughs> I've got like his his like skills and stuff, but I don't have. Okay. Uh, Do you have the rules for making attacks with familiars? Oh, unarmed attacks. I've got one. Okay. Here go. So cool. I've got it. So he's he's just going to punch <laughs> the, the clay monster. First combat for Jam Jam against. Um, I assume he's using his fists, right? Oh, so I mean, he be, has no other equipment. Yeah, he's not armed. So it'll be a D four. Um, <laughs> okay, that's a sixteen. Sixteen. No, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Jam Jam just hits the thing, the clay guy, and the clay guy just looks down at him with his little smiley face. I've got something else that I want to do, but I'll Clash wait. Obviously, I've got Titans. To, or, yeah, I've got to order him to do it. Okay, it um, now tries to hit him back. Um, it's that's a nineteen against Jam Jam. Oh, just, just, yeah. Is that, yeah, my class is eighteen. Oh. 
Jam Jam takes six points of bludgeoning damage. Um, it tries to hit him again. Uh, that is a that's a twenty. Yeah. Uh, he takes another six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and he tries his final one. That's only a ten. The creature just no. starts punching Jam Jam in the muck because <laughs> Jam Jam is trying to claw his way out of it. Oh, poor Jam Jam. Uh, Bubba Von Hoofs, let's come back round to you. Can we try and... Uh, you're spreading your damage pretty well, but, uh, like, what are we going to do next? Yeah. Um, we need to smash the shit out of that machine, don't we? I think we, we do, yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast Magic Missile at the machine. Okay, you cast um, Magic Missile at the machine. Go ahead, roll your damage. Uh, first one is uh, four. Four points of damage. Second one is four. Okay. And the third one is four. Four, Keeping. eight, twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage. Okay, cool. You uh, you blast it with a flurry of, uh, of explosions that all hit the... Um, uh, that hit it. Twelve points of damage. Uh, okay, so that means it's Velda's go. Okay, what is the machine made of? The machine it seems to be made of metal. 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 Mm, okay. Um, I'm not sure this all is going to do as much damage as I hope. And the what I'd like to do, so the blob that's blobbed out of it, um, the, the purple blob, uh, is it how far away from the machine is it? It's right next to the machine. Right next to the machine. Okay. I would then like to cast Fireball. Um, and it's a 20 foot radius and I want 10 feet on the blob, 10 feet on the machine so it hits them both. Now hopefully that shouldn't hit Jam Jam and the clay dude That won't though, they are yeah, far enough away from it Okay, so I cast Fireball. Oof, is this uh, your that first is, Fireball? It is, it is my first Fireball. I've been uh, holding on to it because nice. it, it's a big hitter but it might not do as much damage as I want but I don't think I've got anything that's perfect for this situation unfortunately So many classic um, things coming up Classic. Can I get a reflex save? I presume the machine does not get a reflex save. The machine automatically fails any reflex save. Good. It is static, so it's going to take full damage. Um, Can I take a blob, please? The blob. The blob. Uh, okay. Yep. It's got a. It's got a plus one. You know. You never know. You never know. Oof, it's a nineteen. It's not far off, but uh, oh. it's still a fail. That not is a still fail, just a fail. My God. Um, Okie dokie, and uh, so I believe Fireball is two actions, so I'd like to, uh, can I heighten this with an extra action, isn't it? Uh, or, use, or use a higher spell slot? Uh, tell us about using a higher spell slot. Um, well, I'm just trying to see, I've got the spell up here, but it doesn't say what, le- oh, is this, no, I can't, I can't, okay. because I don't have a level four spell slot, so it's okay. just going to be the regular damage, uh, that is going to be... 66. I have them prepped here on my dice roller. Uh, I, I believe is. using meta magic allows you to spend actions to um, uh, to do things to it, but that's ah. that would have been through your feats that you, your uh, wizard feats that you'll have gotten as you level up. So right. if you right. have meta magic okay. feats, then that can do that sort of thing. Wait, level up. <laughs> um, so that's uh, let me. I've just got to calculate this. Uh, so that's seven uh, plus twelve, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three points of twenty-three points of fire damage. Twenty-three points of fire damage. Uh, you. Um, does it get that guy? Not quite. Okay. So uh, the ooze go. The ooze bursts into flames um, and is dropped immediately to below half hit points. Um, the machine explodes oh, um, as you hit it with the fireball and just bits of it just rain down all over the machine um, by, uh, Zainab looks over her shoulder and just goes no um, as it explodes um, and just turns around with tears welling up in her eyes uh, to go back after Fulton Battlestone oh, but I- we will uh, yep uh, I've still got another action. You still got another action. What are we do? Because uh, that's two actions. Um, I would like to. So, um, where where's the where's the purple blob in relation to moi? Uh, it's quite a long way away from you. It's oh, um, that's that's okay then. Uh, yeah, you've got you've got Fulton and his whole con- Fulton Philippe, Jam Jam, Zainap. That whole combat is in between you and them. It's forty five feet away from you. Nice. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, he just turns to uh, Zainap and goes. Heh. And that's it. I've done nothing else to use my left action. You leave your, uh, you leave your go. Zainab turns around, tears in her eyes, drawing her cookery, bearing down on Fulton Battlestone as the burning remnants of the machine rain down around her. And that is where we leave it for tonight. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. The 
Thunder right. in the Machine. This week's episode was made possible by our patron, and especially our Dangerling of the Week, Libby Abnett. Libby Abnett, Libby Abnett, Libby Abnett. To get your name on the show, go to patreon.com forward slash Danger Club Podcast. <laughs>